these motherfuckers coming for everybody. All right. You can see the post right here. All right. These motherfuckers coming for everybody. Shalom. Illegally selling prescription painkillers. A source familiar with the probe told Reuters the site may have been the largest opioid pill mill in Florida. Reuters witnessed more than a dozen officers executing a search warrant at Health Plus Pharmacy in Miramar, Florida. The agencies on scene included the Drug Enforcement Administration and the Health and Human Services Inspector General's Office. A source told Reuters that FBI agents were also involved. Government records show the pharmacy has been in business since at least 2006. It's the latest target in the Justice Department's ongoing efforts to crack down on the illegal diversion of prescription painkillers, which have helped fuel the nation's opioid epidemic. A source who asked to remain anonymous told Reuters the pharmacy was suspected of illegally selling Oxycontin, a highly addictive painkiller. Reuters also witnessed agents execute search warrants at two private homes, identified as the publicly listed addresses of two Health Plus pharmacy owners. In recent years, the Justice Department has aggressively prosecuted medical professionals suspected of illegally supplying painkillers in an effort to combat opioid prescription abuses. The U.S. opioid crisis has caused more than 500,000 overdose deaths over the past two decades, including more than 80,000 in 2021 alone, according to government data. All right. Shalom. This is Brother Yuanathan, the Bada out of Wong, coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah. First and foremost, as always, I want to start by giving all praises and glorifications to Yahweh Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah, Baha Sham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone and well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching his word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Okay, as you uh brothers and sisters. You notice a pattern going on with uh, the so-called FBI. Okay, and we know about the recent raid of uh, Trump's estate in uh, down there in Florida. Okay, and this is uh, another smoke and mirrors tactic by this damn devil, man. All right, Esau Edom. Okay, as he's conditioned the minds, all right, with this uh, fiasco they got going here with the FBI, man, raiding everybody's house. Um, I was watching a video this morning in the group chat. Well, they really uh, uh, raided an old African um, minded Jake, you know, them uh, so called conscious uh, um, African niggas, wannabe niggas. You know, they raided his house about two weeks ago and he was protesting against it. You know, the FBI came to him. So, this is all conditioning, man, with the FBI. You know, uh, it's, like I said, it's all smoke and mirrors to get to the profits, man. Okay, deeming everybody a terrorist. Remember the uh, NDAA Act, I believe, when Obama was in office. He signed that back in 2012, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, to, to uh, label everybody uh, a terrorist, man. Okay, all right. And we know about the uh, Southern uh, Law of Poverty, where they got a, a group of um, uh, so-called extremist groups. Okay, so when they when um, they pull off a, a, a major event, a major false flag, all right, <clears throat> which is going to shake the whole world. And I've been saying that and the other brothers been saying it to justify locking everything down and, you know, uh, uh, um, detaining uh, uh, everybody pretty much, especially you Jakes. You know, then they're going to uh, use that because, you know, Obama that you niggas voted for back in 2008. 2012 he done signed that right on your noses man to deem you a terrorist and, and you know jake is the primary target man okay you so-called negroes latinos and native americans you the primary target okay because the goal is to exterminate you israelites man to get you out of the way because esau this devil he wants his birthright back man okay which was set up for us to begin with but you know this devil's so proud now you think he can get it back, man. Okay? And he's pissed off. Okay, that's why a hey, scripture speak of him. Can't quote it enough. Revelation 12 and 12. This devil's coming down, having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time, man. Okay? This devil knows that he had but a short time. And we know about um a uh, Project Megiddo, okay, that they uh I think Rex 842, if I'm not mistaken. 
okay um how they uh <coughs> back then in the 80s pretty much or the early 90s they they was uh preparing bills the legislation for uh you know extremist groups primarily us the uh the hebrew israelites man okay um also the nation of islam the uh so-called ku klux klan and you know all these uh so-called what the so-called white man deems radicals these radical groups okay so everybody that's uh in uh, opposition against this beast system so to speak is going to be deemed a terrorist and hey you know <laughs> you know we're in great opposition the men of the lord in great opposition okay against this system so that hey, that's why i say the primary target is us man the men of the lord primarily uh us at great millstone but they're going to get these other sellout groups too you know all right so uh, I want to get one key scripture. I don't want to make this too long. I just want to, you know, uh, make a point with the uh, this whole thing with the FBI. Now let's go to Apocrypha. I quote I already quoted uh, Revelation 12, verse 12. Okay, I'm gonna get a priest that precept where he uh, speaks of uh, what is it, Second Ezra 16, coming in like mad men sparing none, man. Okay, this devil finna come down like a madman man okay because it's all about that birthright man it's all about that birthright so um <clears throat> let me see this second Ezra chapter 16 I'm gonna start at verse 6 69 so like it, it says and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach see and trodden on their foot all right so, hey, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to be in great derision out here because you you trusting in this system, okay? You're going to be trotting on the foot when this devil implements martial law. Remember, Revelation 12 and 12, this devil uh, uh, is, is coming down having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time, man, okay? Verse 70, it says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities, a great insurrection, okay, upon those that fear Yahweh. It's talking about you Israelites, and primarily it's talking about the elect, because uh, we're the main ones they want to come after. Lord willing, I'm part of that number. The men of the Lord are the main ones they want to come after, because it's all about trying to get rid of uh, this truth and those in opposition against their uh, so-called NWO agenda, man. Okay. All right, but the goal, like I said uh, earlier in this lesson. Is to exterminate all you tribes, man. Okay, whether you're a, a man, of, man of the Lord or not, it's about getting rid of Israel completely, wiping us out completely, man. But it's not gonna happen because again, the Lord has a remnant, man. Okay, so I'm gonna read it from the top again, drop down to the point. It says, uh, verse 70 it says, "For there shall be in every place and the." So like in the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh, right? The Israelites. It says they shall be like the the point. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. See, this devil man, he gonna, he gonna come with it, man. He's coming, man. All right, Esau's coming. That persecution is coming, man. Okay, now he's he's willing to uh, f his old people over the uh. Uh, the Edomites, these peons, okay, like the whole Jer January 6th bullshit, okay, that's all smoke and mirrors too, man, okay, that's all to, just to get to us, man, all this, all this is uh, going out the way just to get to the men of the Lord, man, all that going out the way shit, man, going after his own people, going after, uh, you know, uh, even the other nations that's opposed to, um, uh, his system or a hey, uh, the peons of our people <laughs> you know that's in these uh other uh false philosophies these other groups outside of uh being an Is israelite man okay just to get to the men of the lord man so that's why he's coming like mad man i'm gonna read it again from the top it says they shall be like mad men sparing none uh, it's gonna be a hey, the lord is gonna use esau pursuing the psalm 17 and 3 as his whooping stick for the wicked, man. Okay? But, hey, the men of the Lord ain't got nothing to worry about, hey, because, 
Hey, even though some of us, he gonna take some of us, but it's like it. He gonna take some of us, but guess what? The dead should rise first. Either way, we're gonna get the victory, man. Whether you die in this truth or you know you endure all the way into the end, man. Right? So I'm gonna read on. It says, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Right? It's gonna be mass death out here, man. The slain of the Lord shall be many, and you know Israel make up a, a great bulk of the earth's population. The Lord says we're the sand of the sea. Okay. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. All you preppers, man, you doing, hey, you you doing that shit in vain, man. Okay, just to let you know. It says, they then shall they be known who are my chosen, right? Because the elect is gonna stand firm through the persecution, through him, this devil coming down having great wrath. It reads on, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Okay, so hey. This is going to be a big trial, man. Hey, the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, okay? It's going to be our biggest trial or, or test yet through the spirit and power of by Shemel Shah. But, you know, if you're of the elect, you're going to pass that test, man. All right? Lord willing, me and you other sincere brothers, a few of you sisters, okay, we make it, man. We pass that test, man, so we can be delivered, man. So, hey, that's all I want to um, drop there, man, you know? Uh, just wanted to bring that point out concerning this video, man. Uh, I've had posted it into my community. All right, entitled, uh, let me see. Yeah, uh, right here. Damn these MFers coming for everybody. <laughs> right, so expect to see more of this. Uh, FBI going after more groups. and it, Right here, they going after goddamn pharmacy store, man. You know, what el who else, man? It's all to get. It's all conditioning and programming, all right, to, to get to the men of the Lord. Because we're not. The matter of fact, in it off on this, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We're not ignorant of this devil's devices. We're not ignorant of you Edomites, man. You elites. What you trying to do, man? You, we know you coming after us, man. Well, you can just cut the shit, man. All right. This is uh Second Corinthians two and eleven. It reads, at least Satan, all right, which Satan is a spiritual demon or, 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 or and, the, and the physical counterpart of Satan is the so-called white man, okay? It says, at least Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant, meaning not to, uh, um, unknowingly, right? For we are not ignorant of his devices. And this is one of his main devices, man, right here, man. This is what this is the vice he's using. Damn, come on. This is a device he's using. You see the uh, title right here: Federal Agents or FBI. You know, another word. Raid <laughs> pharmacy as part of opioid crackdown, which, you know, that opioid thing. You know, if uh, it's it's a high uh, highly effective amongst Edomites. Okay, but it's still a conditioning. You know, a uh, a uh, 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 um preparing the minds of people for for them raiding <coughs> raiding them or raiding their homes all right and expect uh warrantless raids real soon man because it's, it's all conditioning for what martial law man because the constitution gonna be done away with it's gonna be out of here man okay ain't gonna be no i know my rights and all that bullshit in that day man all right hey this devil coming with it man because hey, he knows he had but a short time all right, so um, I'm going to end it off on that, Lord willing. All right, this was edifying. I'm going to sign off by saying again all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the uh, apostles and elders that great millstone well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching his word and two witnesses. I'm going to say Shalom, call me Ashala, and Ababa Baal. Shalom.